multiplying out brackets. Here is an expression containing brackets. Three open brackets, x minus two. All we have to do here, it's dead simple, is multiply everything that's in the brackets by the number or term that's in front of the brackets. In this case, there's a three in front of the brackets, and we're going to multiply everything in the brackets by three. So it's going to be three times x, and it's going to be three times, that's right, minus two. So, three times x is three x, and three lots of minus two, well, three times two is six, and we're multiplying a positive number by a negative number, which means we get a negative outcome. So, three times minus two is negative six. There it is. That, in a nutshell, is multiplying out brackets. Let's do a few more. Here we've got five open brackets, seven a plus three close brackets. It's multiplying five by whatever's in the brackets. Five times seven a and five times plus or positive three. So five times seven a. Five lots of seven are thirty-five. So five lots of seven a is thirty-five a. And five lots of positive three. Five threes are eighteen. No, they're not. They're fifteen. Five threes are fifteen. Plus fifteen. There we go. We're done. Let's do another one. It's possible that your term in front of the brackets could be negative. You might have, say, minus four. Open brackets. Six plus two y. There it is. Uh, so it's minus four times that, and it's minus 4 times that. So, minus 4 times 6, a minus times a plus is a negative outcome, and 4 6 is a 24, so minus 4 times 6 is minus 24, and minus 4 times plus 2, a negative times a positive, is going to be a negative answer, and 4 2 is 8, so it's minus 8y. Let's do another one with a negative at the beginning. Minus 5 times 3x minus 4. There it is. It's minus 5 times that. And it's minus 5 times minus 4. Minus 5 times 3 is minus 15. So minus 5 times 3x is minus 15x. And minus 5 times minus 4, a negative multiplied by a negative, will be positive. And 5 fours are 20, so it's positive 20. There we go. Sometimes you have an expression which has brackets and other bits. For example, 3 brackets y plus 2, close brackets, minus 5. There we go. Um, so, let's multiply the brackets first. I'm not even going to do the underlining this time. 3 times y is 3y. Three, 3 times plus 2 is plus 6. And we've still got that minus 5, don't forget it. So there we go, we've multiplied out the brackets. But we're not done here, are we? Because we can, and here's an expression for you, or here's a, a new phrase for you. We can simplify this expression by collecting some like terms. In this case, plus 6 and minus 5. We can actually gather those together and write it in a more simple form. Because plus 6, take away 5, is actually plus 1, isn't it? So I can take 3y plus 6 minus 5 and simplify it to say 3y plus 1. It's a simpler way of saying the same thing. So plus 6 and minus 5 there are like terms. Let's do another one. Let's this time make it three, uh, 4 open brackets, y plus 4 close brackets, minus 2y. There we go. Um, multiply out the brackets. 4 times y is 4y. Four, 4 times plus 4 is plus 16 still got that little minus 2y. Remember that's not part of the bracket, so we don't do any multiplying with it at the start, it just stays there and we bring it down to the next line and now we look at it and say, can we simplify this expression? And we can, because we have four lots of y here and this is important, minus two lots of y here. It's important you recognise or acknowledge the sign in front of the term. Here we got minus 2y, here we got plus 16. Okay, it's important you recognise is plus and minus signs. So, 
4y minus 2y, 4 lots of y, take away 2 lots of y, is 2y plus 16. And there we go, Bob's your uncle. You could also have an expression with something at the start of the expression, before the bracket. So you might have a 3 plus 9, open brackets, 6x plus 2. And at this point, you have to be careful. Because a lot of people will be tempted to take the 3 plus 9 and add them together to make 12 and multiply everything that's in the brackets by 12. That would not be the right thing to do. And the reason it wouldn't be the right thing to do would be because of bid mass, or bod mass as some people call it. Um, bid mass is the acronym that tells us the order in which we do things when we've got more than one thing to do in maths. Uh, and in this case, um, we have more than one thing to do. And the first thing we have to do is multiply out the brackets. And multiplying comes before adding in bid mass, which means we do the multiplying first, and we'll do the adding at the end. So, the 3 that's here just comes on down, and we'll deal with that later. We multiply what's in the brackets by 9. 9 times 6 is 54, so we've got 54x. And 9 times plus 2 is plus 18. So there we go. Is there any simplifying of terms? What expressions we can do here? Yes, there is. We've got 3 and plus 18, which makes 21. So we have 21 plus 54x. Here's an expression with two sets of brackets. 3 brackets x plus 2, close brackets, minus 4, open brackets, 2x minus 5. Close brackets, there it is. I'm going to pop something else at the front here just, just to test whether or not you remembered what we just said. 4 plus 3, open brackets, plus x plus 2, close brackets, minus 4, open brackets, 2x minus 5, close brackets. We're going to do the brackets first, aren't we? Don't do 4 plus 3 equals 7 first. Just carry the 4 on down and we'll deal with that later. And then we multiply the first set of brackets by 3. So 3 times x is plus 3x. 3 times plus 2 is plus 6. And then we go to the second set of brackets. And what's in front of the second set of brackets? Don't be tempted into saying it's 4. It's not 4, is it? It's minus 4. And that minus sign, as I said earlier, is really important because we're going to multiply everything in the brackets by minus 4, not 4. So what's minus 4 times 2x? It's minus 8x. And minus 4 times minus 5, we're multiplying two negatives, we get a positive answer, a positive product. 4, 5 to 20, positive 20. There we go. Are there any like terms? There are loads. We've got 4 and plus 6 and plus 20, a whole bunch of integers there which we can collect together. But we've also got more than one lot of x here that we can gather together. Uh, I'm not going to underline these because it's a different kind of term. Uh, these are my x's, so uh, instead of underlining them, let's do something different, like say, let's just circle these guys. Okay, just to distinguish between these x's and the other numbers that I'm going to collect in a moment. So there we go. Let's collect the integers first. We've got 4 plus 6 plus 20. 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 plus 20 is 30. And then we've got plus 3x minus 8x. 3 minus 8 is minus 5, so that's minus 5 x. And so that big, long, whopping big expression at the top with all those brackets and whatnot can be simplified right down to 30 minus 5x. Now, there are other bits and pieces you can think about in relation to this, but that's the bare bones of multiplying out brackets. If you can, if you can do those bits there, remembering your negative numbers and paying attention to your plus signs and your minus signs, it should be okay.